Hello and welcome to another tutorial video about Bybit. Today I'd like to explain to you how the order book works and what it is. You can find this element here, which is the order book, basically on every exchange which offers advanced or professional trading functionalities. I will use Bybit here as an example, but you will find this order book functionality and overview basically on every exchange that offers these functionalities. When you are new in the space or when you just get into trading, this whole dashboard here can easily be overwhelming. So it is important to get a thorough understanding of the individual aspects of it. And the order book is one that confuses a lot of people. So let's get into this. So the order book is basically an overview of all orders that are being edited or entered um, on a particular exchange. So in this case, Bybit. So bear in mind that there are, you know, millions of people trading on these exchanges and especially on the large exchanges and Bybit is one of the largest exchanges. Um, you'll have so many people entering orders all the time. That's why it's shifting and moving all the time. So this order book provides really a real time overview of all the orders that are being entered. So as you can see, this order book is made up of two halves, you could say. So on the lower end of the spectrum here, you have an overview of all the buy orders. They are also called bids. And on the higher end, you can find all the sell orders and they are called asks. This order book, as I said, provides you a real time overview of what orders are entered. So if you get a thorough understanding what most people are doing and at what prices they are actually entering their orders, it can help you understand how most people see the market and it can help, it can help you to make better trades, smarter trades. So one thing that is very important to understand is, can you see all these red bars and the green bars that are quickly moving? So this is obviously currently set at a very um, fine, you could say fine resolution, yeah? You can set the digits here um, and this allows you to get a very, very fine grained um, overview here of the order book. Or as you can see, if I go um, to the um, higher numbers here, in the filter, this isn't moving that much anymore because it's sort of rounding it up. Yeah. And it provides sometimes it, it can provide a little bit of a better overview sometimes if you do this because it's moving slower and it provides you a better overview and a higher level overview where people are actually setting their orders. So you can see those long bars here. Yeah. And clusters of prices. So whenever you have those long bars, and this one is moving, for example, left and right down here as well, left and right. It shows you for each sort of value, um, the bid size. So how many, you know, what is actually the, the sort of volume in that price range that is being bid on down here or that is being offered up here. And again, you can, you can sort of do that higher level and you can see all these clusters. So there's a lot of people who have sell orders. Um, in this price range between 17.2 and 17.3 K here, a high, you know, a cluster of buy orders in the 16 K area. So that is very useful to know. And if you, you can, again, you can do that on the, let's call it a smaller time frame on the, you know, really, really fine grained and you can see the details, but this is shifting a lot and very, very fast. So this is really a good way of understanding at what price most people are currently trying to buy or sell this asset, in this case, Bitcoin. On the order book as well, so just to, to understand that on the lower end here of the spectrum, you have people who are very concerned to get a really good price, yeah, a lower price. And again, we can look at that from a high level point of view. So here, people who set it very low, the buy orders, they really want to get a good price. But you can see that there are not many bids in this area. So most people are currently looking at buying in the current range and then sort of in the middle range here. Um, in terms of selling, you can see the people that are really far away from the middle, they want to either take profits up here yeah, or short the market up here somewhere in that area. You know? So they are not really concerned about getting their order through quickly. They can wait a little bit. They are rather They rather want to get a better entry point. So, and then what you can see here in the middle is um, the average price. So it's, I think the average price between the best bid and the best ask. And that is obviously changing all the time as the order book is changing all the time with new orders being entered. 
So any order that you now enter will be added to the order book. Let's say I open a limit order now and I set it at 16,200. It would be added to this order block here on the bid side. And these are called makers. Yeah, it is added to the order book. And this is a limit order. And if I wanna buy Bitcoin now with the market order, it will remove an order from the order book because I buy it straight away. It will not be visible here because it will be immediately filled. So it's taking away an order, yeah? So it's taking away. If I want to buy at the current price, yeah, I will buy it from these sellers here. And it is taking away orders. So it's called a taker. That is very important to understand. I mean, it's not relevant for day-to-day -day trading, but you know, if you wanna play the game of trading here, you need to understand these terms. And just to give you an understanding of how this would work, you can see here these different order blocks and we keep it quite simple now, but let, you know, this lower order block here, order block, um, you can see the fluctuating numbers, but in this order block, you have around 1.2, let's say between one and three BTC constantly at the moment, yeah? Um, this is what people are offering for this price. So that means if I now buy for, if I want to buy three BTC, which I'm not gonna do now, but if I want to buy three BTC, it will take away this order block. So it's gonna take away all these orders yeah, so it's a taker. Um, it will take this block away and it will take some of this order block. Okay, so it's very important to understand as well. It's, it will carry on. I mean, if I was buying like 150 BTC, you can see in this block there's 130 roughly. If I was to buy like 150 BTC now, which again I'm not, then it will take away this one, this one, and some of this one. And that is what brings the price up as, as well, yeah, on these different exchanges. So, and as I said, you know, this is changing the price all the time. And this is exactly the pattern that you can see here. You know? um, and all it, it all goes back to psychology, fear and greed, you know, and that is how these orders are entered. And then it will, you, you see it as a pattern on the chart. So hopefully that tutorial was useful and that, you know, that you have now a better understanding of how the order book works on different exchanges. In this particular case, Bybit. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can, um, and, and if you want to register on Bybit, you can use the affiliate link that you can find in the video description. It would support the channel. It would allow us to create more content. And sometimes Bybit offer a bonus or some sort of benefits when you sign up. So feel free to check that out. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.